welcome to the Precision Tile demo video. This video will demonstrate how you can use Precision Tile to quickly and easily plan and visualize your tile layouts, turning your tile dreams into reality. All the principles you will see in this floor plan video can also be applied to create tile layouts for backsplashes, countertops, and shower surrounds. Precision Tile will also allow you to add sophisticated elements such as tile inlays and borders, giving you the power to create virtually any layout you can imagine. To begin, we will create the floor plan for the bathroom. We start with a simple sketch with our measurements drawn in. The bathroom floor's outer dimensions are 9 feet by 5 feet. We would like the tile to extend into the doorway threshold by 3 inches, so we will create a rectangle 9 feet 3 inches wide by 5 feet high. We start by selecting the rectangle tool and dragging out the rectangle. Note how the dimensions are shown both on the object's edges and in the bottom toolbar. To set the exact size of the rectangle, it is often easier to right-click on the object and select Set Dimensions. Then enter the desired width and height, in this case 9 feet 3 inches by 5 feet. Notice that the rectangle is now too big to fit in our window. We can use the Zoom Out tool to see the whole thing. Next, we will fill the rectangle with the desired tile pattern. It is not necessary to know the final tile pattern at this time. You can choose a temporary tile and experiment with different patterns and tiles later. For now, we will choose a simple grid pattern with 8 inch tile. We do this by setting the rectangle object's fill style to tile. This will bring up the edit tile pattern dialog where we can select the tile pattern, the angle, and the tile colors and sizes. Next we will draw the walls and tub that border the floor. We will start by setting the default fill and line color to match the color of our walls, in this case a butter yellow. Using the color tool at right you can create any color you desire. We will use the rectangle tool again to create each wall. For this drawing, the exact dimensions of the top and left-hand wall rectangles are not important. They simply provide a sense of the color scheme in the room. To draw the tub, we will create a white rectangle 60 inches wide by 30 inches tall. Then we will use the ellipse tool to create the center of the tub. To mark the position of the right hand wall, we can draw a vertical line 9 feet from the left hand edge of the floor. To do this, we first select the line tool and draw the line. Don't worry that it is not perfectly vertical. We can set the exact angle by right-clicking on the line and selecting Set Dimensions. Under Angle, enter 90 degrees. Next, we will move the origin of the drawing to the top left corner of the floor. The origin is used to calculate the position values shown in the bottom left of the status bar. We select the Origin tool and then click on the corner of the floor. You will notice that the position coordinates are now relative to that point. So now we can go back to our guideline and place it at 9 feet from the left edge of the floor. Along the bottom right, the wall juts into the room by 9 inches. So we will create a wall rectangle 9 inches tall and place it over the tile rectangle.
We continue in this way, adding the remaining walls, vanity, and toilet. Note that they are drawn to show the size of the base of the object rather than a traditional top-down view. This way you can see where the tile cuts will fall. Note too that the vanity has a bitmap fill using a file scanned in from a matching wood sample so that we can better visualize the color scheme of the room. Now that the floor plan is complete, we can look more closely at the tile pattern. By using the tile scrolling tool, we can shift our pattern around to see what position gives us the best layout. As you are experimenting, you can easily avoid any slivers of tile less than an inch or two that would be visually unappealing and difficult to cut. In our example, we will start by putting whole tile along the far wall and tub, since this is where the eye will naturally be drawn when you enter the room. But this leaves some sliver of tile at the opposite walls. No problem. With just a few mouse clicks, we can try a thinner grout width, say 1 8 inch. That looks much better. We even have a whole tile along the bottom of the cabinet. Imagine how long it would have taken to make that change if we were using pencil and paper. But the benefits of using precision tile don't end there. You can also experiment with different tile and grout colors to find those that best suit your space. You no longer have to try to imagine how a tile sample will look. Precision tile will show you with just a few clicks of the mouse. Precision Tile comes with thousands of tile bitmaps to choose from. You can use the thumbnails view to preview them in the dialog box. In addition, you can import your own tile bitmaps from other manufacturers, giving you limitless possibilities. Some of our favorite tile images are shown in the bitmaps folder. We will try this blue tile with a white grout. But that doesn't really match the room's color scheme. Next, we will try a terracotta tile with tan-colored grout. That looks like a better option. You can continue experimenting in this way until you find the perfect tile for your room and your taste. You can even try different tile sizes and select from over 30 different layout patterns. Now that you have completed your drawing, you can use Precision Tile to calculate the material requirements for the job. The Tile Counting tool will tell you how many whole and partial tiles are used in your drawing. In this case, 82. If you want to adjust the tile count, for instance to use one tile to make two partial tiles, you can click on the check marks to remove them and the tile count will be updated automatically. To calculate your grout and thinset requirements, just click on the grout and thinset calculator. It will automatically calculate the total square area to be tiled and the total number of linear feet of grout required. From the drop-down menu, select the notch size of the trowel you will be using for spreading the tile mortar. Given these new values, the calculator will automatically display the amount of thinset needed. Here and the total amount of grout needed here. Don't forget to add some extra for waste and other factors. Always check the manufacturer's coverage information on the product packaging.